An elevator mechanic handles all aspects of elevator function, including installation, repair, and maintenance. Elevator mechanics assemble and install elevator equipment and machinery. Their duties also include repair services and preventative maintenance. They regularly test equipment to make sure it runs as efficiently as possible and troubleshoot electrical problems utilizing diagnostic instruments such as voltmeters and ammeters. An elevator mechanic is also responsible for ensuring that elevator machinery conforms to building safety codes and equipment safety regulations. He or she also works on escalators, moving sidewalks, and other lifts. An elevator mechanic often works in cramped quarters inside crawl spaces and machine rooms, and may be exposed to heights in elevator shafts. An elevator repair person may also be required to work overtime when essential equipment needs repair and may sometimes be on call 24 hours a day. Elevator mechanics typically perform the following duties. Read blueprints to determine the equipment needed for installation or repair. Install or repair elevator doors, cables, motors, and control systems. Locate malfunctions in brakes, motors, switches, and control systems. Connect electrical wiring to the control panels and electrical motors. Use test equipment such as ammeters and voltmeters to diagnose problems. Adjust counterweights, door mechanisms, and safety controls. Test newly installed equipment to ensure that it meets specifications. Ensure elevator compliance with safety regulations and building codes. And keep service records of all maintenance and repair tasks. Elevator mechanics usually specialize in either installation or maintenance and repair work. Maintenance and repair workers generally require greater knowledge of electronics, hydraulics, and electricity than do installers because a large part of maintenance and repair work is troubleshooting. Today, most elevators have computerized control systems, resulting in more complex systems and troubleshooting than in the past. A service crew usually handles major repairs, for example, replacing cables, elevator doors, and machine bearings. These tasks may require the use of cutting torches or rigging equipment, tools that an elevator repair person may not normally carry. Service crews also perform major modernization and alteration work, such as replacing electrical motors, hydraulic pumps, and control panels. To become an elevator mechanic, one must first have a high school diploma or GED. Courses in physics, mathematics, and electricity can be helpful, as well as knowledge of mechanical drawing, blueprint reading, and drafting. Those who have taken shop courses, like welding, may have an advantage over those who have not. Then, the applicant must complete either a union or non-union apprentice program. These programs typically last for four years. While the apprentice program is education, there are also physical requirements that must be met. An applicant will need to be physically fit, at least 18 years of age, and pass a drug test. Individuals need to have good balance and hand-eye coordination and an ability to work at heights. Further, the applicant must pass an apprenticeship entrance exam, which assesses his or her skills and aptitude for working in the elevator industry. After passing the exam, applicants typically must participate in a personal interview session with an industry professional before being accepted in the apprenticeship program. Currently, 35 states require elevator mechanics to pass a statewide licensing examination. An elevator mechanic must be detail-oriented, have excellent mechanical skills, have a high degree of physical stamina, have enough physical strength to lift and install heavy equipment, and possess good troubleshooting skills.